protecting students and staff who may go back to class in the fall. They will need to be screened for symptoms and exposure to the coronavirus before re-entering school buildings. Part of the new CDC guidelines, which recommend strict protocols for any districts planning to bring kids back to school. We have multiple reporters covering the coronavirus pandemic tonight. We begin with news reporter Joe McLean breaking down the new rules. Joe, districts have a lot to do this summer if they're going to open their doors in August. They certainly do. It's a long list of recommendations from the CDC just released this week. One of the first ones for reopening schools is checking every single person that walks through the doors. After the school year was interrupted by the COVID-19 pandemic, the groundwork is being laid to fill classrooms once again, but safely. A new checklist from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention acts as a flowchart for administrators looking to do just that. As you can see, it includes more than a dozen rules and protocols broken down into three tiers of recovery. First, before even opening doors, the agency says schools need to follow state and local health officials' recommendations to be able to care for high-risk students and staff and have all the means to screen all students and staff for symptoms and exposure to COVID-19. After that, the CDC says all schools need to implement health and safety actions, like encouraging increased hygiene and the use of face coverings, boosting disinfection and ventilation, and yes, still maintaining social distancing. Finally, the agency says it wants schools to continue to monitor for signs of the virus indefinitely. It says administrators should watch for symptoms in staff and students, be flexible with sick leave, and regularly update employees and families on the latest developments. And the Duval County School District tells us it's considering a lot of possible scenarios. It released a statement and it says in part, quote, feedback from our parents will be integral, an integral part of the reopening plan, which includes surveying parents to gain their opinion on the various modifications that may be necessary for school to safely reopen in the fall. Reporting live, Joe McLean, Channel 4, The Local Station.